Hey everyone, it's Judy, the Body Confidence Coach, author of the little book of Body Confidence and creator of the Body Confidence Journey, the coaching program for women who want to stop chasing the perfect body and embrace the one that they are in. And today is Body Confident Friday. Welcome. Today I want to talk about who you'd be if you weren't trying to fix your body. So let me start by explaining what I mean by this statement. So for many clients, trying to achieve their idea of the perfect body has kind of become like a full-time job for them because they're either thinking about ways that they can fix their body, they are working out or working on their body, or they're worrying about what to eat or obsessing over other people's reactions to how they look. And this constant pursuit of the perfect body has become part of their identity because it has taken so much of their time and energy that everything else in their life has been crowded out. And clients decide that they want to work with me when they are really fed up, feeling bad about their body and not fully living their life. But they're also scared And they're scared for two reasons. First of all, they're scared that if they stop pursuing a better body, they'll let themselves go. But they're also scared of exactly who they'd be if they're not trying to fix their body. Because when you decide to embrace your body and you feel more neutral about it most of the time, you will have a lot more time and energy to focus on other things. But letting go of the need to fix your body can be scary if you really don't know who you'd be without it. And it can feel like an empty void that you're not quite sure how you're going to fill it. And the focus on fixing your body feels safe because it is so familiar. So if you think about it, it's probably influenced the sorts of activities that you do. It may have been a constant topic of conversation with friends and it may even been have been acting as an excuse not to get on with some of your life goals so it's really not surprising that deciding to call time on trying to fix your body can feel scary but any time that you make a change it will feel scary precisely because you are moving away from the comfortable and the familiar but believe me even though it is scary I don't know a single person who has ever regretted working on accepting their body. So if you are fed up feeling bad in your body, but you're scared about what will happen if you stop trying to fix it, I've got some coaching questions to help guide you through this. So question one, what impact does the way I feel about my body have on my life? So if you spend a lot of time thinking about your body, worrying about it, being very critical of it, how does that impact your life? So do you maybe avoid activities like swimming or wearing a bathing suit on holiday? Do you find it difficult to enjoy social occasions or spend time with your partner because you are very conscious of your body? Have you maybe put off asking for a promotion at work or getting back into dating because you've decided that you want to fix your body first? So that's question one. Question two, how would my life be different if I felt more neutral in my body? So imagine that you're not spending a lot of time thinking about your body anymore. You mostly feel okay about it, but it's not taking up too much of your headspace. So what might that mean for you? So you might, for example, be in a new relationship or enjoy the one that you're in more, or you might have the confidence to start the business you've always dreamed of or ask for a promotion at work. Or perhaps you would go on holiday for the very first time without worrying about how you looked in your swimsuit. So that's question two. And finally, question three, who would I be if I wasn't trying to fix my body. So reflecting back on questions one and two, so one was all about the impact, the way you feel on your body has on your life now, and how life might be different for you if you felt more neutral in your body. 
thinking about the answers to those two questions, who would you be if you weren't constantly trying to fix your body? So would you be happier, more confident, have a greater sense of peace? Maybe you'd be kinder to yourself and others. You'd be more fun loving or free spirited. So really think about who you would be beyond trying to fix your body. Because answering all three of these questions will help you to identify how the way you feel about your body now is holding you back and what your life could be like if you stop trying to fix your body and embrace the one that you are in. So I really hope that you get some amazing insights from answering these three questions. Now, if you found this episode useful, make sure that you never miss an episode by subscribing to my channel. And you can do that by clicking the heart your body icon at the bottom right of this video. That's all I've got for you for this episode of Body Confident Friday. Thank you so much for listening in and I hope to catch you next time.